Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for a new episode of Hands, and it's been a minute since I've posted a lesson video. So with today's lesson video, what I decided to do was I wanted to go back to like the very beginning. I wanted to make a video that would work perfectly for anybody who just got a kit, for anybody who doesn't have a kit and just has a practice pad and a pair of sticks. Maybe you don't even have the pad, you just got a pair of sticks. You can definitely follow along to everything we're gonna be doing in today's video for sure if you're in that circumstance if you're in that scenario and yeah basically like i just wanted to address like where to begin i feel like everything we're about to cover here as far as like hands go and the rudiments that i'm going to be talking are just really great starting points for anybody in their first year or so to create a foundation that will give you like a lot of stick control around the kit so uh yeah with that said let's get into it now before i get into the 10 rudiments that i'm going to be teaching you today i want to take a quick second and talk about five rudiments that i'm gonna just show you real quick a lot of you have probably heard of or seen before and if you haven't just take a second figure them out they're not the, for any player even if you've never played before they're really nothing too confusing and uh, and you probably will pick them up really quick and we're gonna use those five rudiments as a preface because those five rudiments are gonna be what constructs the ten rudiments that we're gonna talk about and actually practice and work on after I teach you those five so the first five are on the screen for you right now and these are all really simple I'm sure a lot of you have seen these before especially if you've taken like maybe music and in, in elementary school or in high school you probably even sat in on listening to drummers figure this stuff out on snare or whatever it is and uh, and they're really simple so the first one is just a single stroke roll so that's just right left right left and uh, we're gonna start with our right hand so it's a right hand lead single stroke roll so it's just like this right left right left and you can speed that up you can put it at different tempos you can add accents and that's the idea really simple now the second one is the same thing but we're gonna start with the left hand so a left hand lead single stroke roll left right left right okay so same thing you can speed that up you can add accents and then the next one after that is going to be the double stroke roll exercises three and four on the screen of the first five are going to be double strokes right hand and left hand lead so the right hand double stroke is going to be right right left left so loop that and put it in time right right left left right right left left you can speed that up and then we're gonna do that again, but we're gonna start with the left hand, just as we did with the first two. So now left hand lead, double stroke roll. So left, left, right, right. And then the last one we're gonna do is actually a combination of the first two that we've done here. So uh, it's called a paradiddle, and it's uh, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So the reason why I say it's a combination is it's, it's, it starts with right, left, which is arguably you know the first thing we did, the single stroke, and then a right, right which is the first thing you're gonna do in the double stroke. And then you're gonna do a left right, which is just a left-handed lead single stroke, and then a left left, which is the second half of what you're gonna perform in the double stroke, or, or it's the first thing you're gonna do in a left-handed lead double stroke. You get the idea. So it's just kind of like a combination of those two basic rudiments to create the paradiddle. So pair a diddle, pair a diddle. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay, and you can speed that up, you can loop it, you can put accents in it. Right, and you can do all kinds of stuff around the kit, and that's a very, very, very common and super, super important rudiment for all of you to know. I mean, all five of those are. Now we're gonna take those five rudiments and we're gonna build 10 other rudiments that are gonna be this video, that's gonna be sort of your foundation at the kit. I just wanna mention that I'm gonna put the rudiment on the screen for you, and then I'm gonna perform it for you really quick, and I'm gonna perform it at two tempos, a couple passes for you to follow along to. But that being said, like this is not something that you wanna just learn once and then walk away from. All of these concepts, all 10 of these rudiments are exercises that I strongly recommend you try at different tempos with maybe different accent placements and then sort of use every day like these 10 rudiments you can screenshot these as we go through and maybe just use these as like a warm-up every day at the kit for the next couple months or something and then and then the ones that you like the most the ones that you find that you're using more of will practice those more and try and put those in different places around the kit and there's a lot of things that you can do to just build off of these 10 to really give you a good foundation at the drum set so yeah with all that said let's get into it number one is gonna be on the screen for you right now and this guy just reads right left left right left right right left so uh let's try that without a click real quick so it's right left left right so the first half right left left right and then the second half left right right left left right right left okay so playing that in time just once through right left left right left right right left all right now we're gonna play it again i'm gonna play it for four passes at the tempo of 60 beats per minute so you can feel free to follow along if you want maybe give it a shot real slow in control i will be playing them as eighth notes so the counting is gonna be one and two and and so on let's give it a shot three four one and two and three and four and one 
and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and perfect so that was it at 60 beats per minute now i'm gonna make a huge jump we're gonna speed it up so if you pick that up really quick try it again with me here at 120 beats per minute okay now definitely take a second though and like if you want to take some time and practice that pause the video get your own uh click out give it a couple shots and if you if you can make the jump to 120 right away then definitely come with me but if you if you want to spend some time at 90 or some in increment along the way definitely give that a go spend some time at a slower tempo get it down solid in control and then slowly move the click up so here we go with 120 for uh, four passes for one two three four one and two and three and four and so there you go that's number one at 60 meters a minute 120 take time at different tempos practice that on your own get that guy down and let's move right along so number two is on the screen for you right now and the sticking for this guy it's gonna be right right left right left left right left so that's just a double stroke before a quick little single stroke, right? So we're just going first half, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. Finish that guy out. So let's try it at 60 beats per minute. Once again, we'll play his eighth notes. Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. One more. So now, just as we did with the first, we're gonna bump this metronome up to 120 beats per minute. Give it another pass. Again, playing eighth notes. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. One and two and three and four and. Perfect, let's move on. So number three, the third rudiment we're gonna cover is on the screen for you right now. And the sticking for this guy is gonna be right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. So this one's a little bit of tricky tongue twister, I guess. I don't know. The thing about this one is like, for me, when I learned these rudiments, this was definitely like, this stumped me for a little bit. And then a lot of the students that I have, this can kind of trip you up at first glance, just because there's a double stroke, there's two L's and two R's beside each other, but they're transitioning over the groups of four. So the actual, there's a group of two that's on one hand, like the two L's, is the final note in the first group of four, as well as the first note in the second group of four, which can make it a little bit challenging. But with that said, let's just perform it without a click real quick, and then we'll try it at those couple tempos. So it's gonna be right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right. And this is really easy to remember because we're just doing a group of four as a single stroke right hand lead and then we're doing another group of four as a single stroke left hand lead. So switching through those is just four like this and then four like that. Pretty straightforward. Now, let's give it a shot at that low tempo of 60 beats per minute. We're gonna play it again as I've been saying throughout as eighth notes. One, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. One and two and three and four and. Cool, and now just as we've been doing, we're gonna go up to 120. So try it with me at 120. If you can't though, take a second, practice this guy on your own, get it down, do a couple loops at some slower tempos. One and two and three and four and. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. So that's been number three. Now let's check out number four. It's on the screen for you and the sticking is gonna be right, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. So now we're literally doing a group of four single stroke right hand lead. And then we're doing a group of four double stroke right hand lead. So right, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. We'll try it at those tempos. Let's take it nice and slow at first. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and right left right left right right left left right left right left right right left left so let's speed it on up we'll try 120 beats per minute one two three four one and two and three and four and right left right left right right left left 
Perfect. So that's been number four. Now let's check out number five. Five is on the screen for you, and the sticking for this guy is going to be left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. So we're doing the exact same thing we did with number four, but now here in number five, we're just going to start on the left hand. So it's going to be a group of four left hand lead single stroke, and then a group of four left hand lead double stroke. Pretty straightforward because we just did it. We're just going to be doing it now with the left hand leading. Definitely can make it a little bit challenging. Make sure you're playing these in control, slow, to a click with clean, decisive strokes that have equal distance between each note. It's very important with these rudiments, especially because we're not doing anything really that fancy here. The thing you really need to focus on is the velocity being about the same, which is your level of dynamic. So if you're hitting like this, maintain that, right? If you're hitting like this, Maintain that. Whatever it is, whatever the volume is, whatever the height of the stick is going to, try and maintain that equally as well as the distance between those notes. Maintain as equal as possible. So with that said, let's slow this guy down and we'll try it here at 60 beats per minute. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. Here we go. One and two and three and four and... Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. Perfect, so now you know what's coming next. Let's speed it on up and give it a shot real quick at a higher tempo. So here it is performed for you at 120 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. All right, let's move right along. Number six is on the screen for you, and the sticking on this guy is gonna be right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. So with this guy, we're going to be doing pairs of singles. Okay, so that's how I kind of look at it is it's just three pairs of singles followed by a double and then reverse, or sorry, other hand lead, three pairs of singles followed by a double. So it's right, left, which is a single stroke roll three times followed by a double, right, right. And then left hand, same thing. Three, uh, three single strokes, one, two, three, and followed by a double with the left. And then we go back to the beginning with the right-handed lead single stroke starting over. So let's give it a shot at those tempos. One and two and three and four and. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. One more. Right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. And you guessed it. Let's do it four passes up at 120. One, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Cool, so that's been number six. Now let's check out number seven. So number seven is just gonna be right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left. Okay, so let's give that a shot real slow in control at 60 beats per minute. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left. All right, let's speed it on up. One, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left. All right, sweet. <clears throat> That's been number seven. Let's check out number eight. So for this guy, we're gonna be doing two groups of singles on a certain lead hand. So we'll start with right. So right, left, right, left. Then we're gonna be doing a double right away after that. 
Then at that point, halfway through the second group of four, we're actually gonna be switching to the left-handed lead, then doing three on the left, and then going into the double, which will transition back into the original lead hand. After the right, right, and the second group of four, we're gonna be starting with the left hand. So it'll be three groups of left-handed lead single stroke. Left, right, then we come back in for the third group of four, left, right, left, right. Then we start the fourth group of four, left, left, then we finish the fourth group of four with going back to the original lead hand, right, left. So all the way through, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. Let's try it nice and slow down at 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. Now here we go with number eight up at 120 beats per minute. Let's give that a shot. One, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. All right, perfect, so there you go. That's been number eight. Now let's try number nine. So it's on the screen for you right now. This guy is gonna read right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, 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 left. So we're just doing singles with groups of four on the first lead hand. Okay, so we're gonna start leading with the single stroke right-handed roll. Right, left, right, left. And then because we started with the right, we're gonna do four on the right. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna be able to switch on the downbeat to the left hand for a group of four single stroke. Left, right, left, right. And then finish it off with uh, the new lead hand, a group of four on the left hand. One, two, three, four. So right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, 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 left. Let's try that nice and slow down at 60 beats per minute. Here we go. One, two, Three and four and left, right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, 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 left. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, let's speed that guy up. One, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, 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 left. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, sweet, so now we're moving on. We're gonna hit number 10. And number 10 is my favorite rudiment on this list for sure. And I've kind of left it for last because of that. We're gonna see number 10 a whole bunch too. I have some other videos planned. We're gonna take number 10 and use it in some other situations, some other circumstances, sort of mix it up a little bit, move it through the kit. But we'll talk about that at a later date. For now, let's learn this guy. It's really, really simple. It's just a double stroke and a paradiddle put together but it's, it's very simple in the sense that it's literally like there's no variation on it. It's a double stroke, then a paradiddle, first half of a paradiddle, then a double stroke, then the second half of a paradiddle. So it's right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, that's the double stroke, then a first half of a paradiddle, right, left, right, right, paradiddle, okay? Then we're gonna do the same thing just with the opposite lead hand. So two doubles, and then the second half of a paradiddle, left, right, left, left. Okay, so playing it all the way through, it's just right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Let's try it real slow down at 60 beats per minute. One and two and three and four and right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Perfect, all right, cool. 
So now let's try that at 120 beats per minute. We'll speed it right up. As I've been saying throughout though, if you can't jump up to 120 with me, no big deal. Take some time. I mean, there's a lot of steps between 60 and 120. We're literally doubling that. So, you know, slow it down to 80 beats per minute, 90 beats per minute. Work your way up, get comfortable with it. Make sure your dynamic is even and the distance between those notes are even and in control. Let's give it a shot at 120. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So there you go guys, those have been my 10 foundational rudiments I recommend for all the beginner students that I take on and now I'm recommending to all of you. So I challenge you, go get your practice pad out, um, set those click tracks. You can use the Metronome app, Pro Metronome, it's free off the App Store if you don't have your own metronome. I'll include a link to that in the description below so you can just download that metronome. That's what the one I use for pretty much everything on my iPhone and my iPad. So definitely grab that guy. I believe there is an Android version, so grab that guy in the description below. Make sure you go back to this video and just screenshot each of the transcriptions when I have them on screen screen here and then you can just kind of like swipe through them in your own warm-ups and practice each one at your click track or whatever tempo you want and you can do this every single day this is a great way to start your playing before you even dive into playing at the kit definitely learn the first five that we talked about the, the single the double and the paradiddle and then you can use those to build every rudiment that we talked about after that with all that being said I really hope you enjoyed and benefited from this video if you did make sure to let me know by hitting the like button maybe share it with a friend who's also just starting out at the drum set and could use this kind of foundation in their life to progress their own playing. Outside of that, if you want to support this channel, you can do so at my Patreon link and my merch link in the description down below. You can also connect with me further at my social media pages. They're on the screen for you right now and then as always in the description below as well. Thanks so much for checking out this video and I will see you guys all very soon with something new.